I turned the camera off because this has been a hot mess trying to get this masking tape off. This is 3M masking tape and I used it because the wood maybe had a sealer on it or something that made it a little bit slick and I always use frog tape and the frog tape would not really stick to it. So I tried the masking tape and it sticked a little better but not super well so I lightly sanded it and put the masking tape on. Big mistake. Always use frog tape. Frog tape is fantastic. The reason why all of these have sticky adhesive on the back from the masking tape. It's sticky tacky gross and if I'd have used frog tape, if I had sanded it and used frog tape, it would have peeled off like a dream. This just makes your life a lot harder when you don't use the right product. And like I said, it didn't stick and I should have sanded it and used it anyway. So also just showing you when you're peeling off, you always peel towards the edge of your piece and that helps everything come off on a nice smooth edge. So that was that way. And then this one is, you know, I'm pulling towards the side and, and it may not get it all. See this, this masking tape is so tacky that I've had to break off these pieces and then you want a nice clean edge around your uh, circle. So I've had to pry and use a razor knife so I cut my finger and typically with frog tape you can heat it and I don't use a heat gun I use my low temp heat tool that just loosens up the adhesive but even when I didn't heat the masking tape it still left all this mess on these wooden backs and so my suggestion to you is to never ever use masking tape but if you heat it just a little bit it should pull off along the edge nice and smooth I've just had to really work at this because the tackiness of the masking tape is so bad and it's gooey it's just bizarre you know these are wood so the heat of the resin really didn't go through the wood I'm sure because these were very thin coats of resin use frog tape and if it doesn't stick to it sand it first and then you should probably have no issues with the frog tape if you lightly heat it with a low temp heat gun it will just pull off generally like a charm but pull it towards the direction of the outside of your piece you know like if it's a square piece then pull it along you know pull it away from the edge so that it takes that edge away nice and smooth I did these with leftover resin these square ones here I made extra resin because I didn't you know you don't know how much you're going to need on something like this where it's rounded and once you heat it you know it's going to still self level and puddle off I saved this because I thought it was so cool looking. This was the puddles from what came off of these coasters. So this is probably a good ounce or so of resin right here that puddled under the cups because uh, I had these all sitting on top of cups. So I'm saving this. I don't know what for, but I'm going to save it. It might be used in some crazy, bizarre mixed media piece. You just never, never know. Yeah, I got a set of six of these on Amazon. I'll post the link below the video. I've got cork, round cork, that I'm going to put on the backs of these. And so you won't ever see that. And the adhesive will just help it stick even better. And that self-adhesive cork is pretty, um, pretty hefty. It holds it sticks really well so I, you know you don't have to worry about that I didn't get a lot of lacing which I've not I've not mastered the lacing on the um, 
ocean wave stuff I get some lacing but not like I would really like it to be and this practically was no lacing but it has a really cool effect still because I did it in two layers so it's got some dimension to it uh, and this one they're both kind of similar in the way they kind of reacted I don't know if you can see I think the set of six coasters was about 13 or 14 dollars I don't know if I'll sell it in pairs or as a set of six but they're made from solid wood and they're a good quarter of an inch or so thick and then they've got a couple of coats of the resin on top but overall for something small scale I'm pleased with it they got a lot of shimmer I put I put um, glitter in it so they got some sparkle for sure and what I used was Funshine Color Shop the Her Mermaid which is the uh, the beautiful blue green there and then the uh, the deep blue was Moonlight Shadow which is that beautiful deep it's like deep sapphire kind of looking then I put um, just some generic probably from Michaels glitter and the turquoise the mermaid color and then I had a bluish shimmery holographic glitter I put into that deep blue color and then my white was armor art white pigment with some pinata white alcohol ink I got what I got as far as the lysing goes and if you don't get a lot of lacing you can usually spritz it at the very end which I do this anyway on all my resin is I'll spritz it with alcohol and if you just do a light spritz it will help some cells form which I think is really how I got my cells more than it from the actual lacing of the the resin of the white so anyway I'll show pictures when they're finished and outside and Hopefully you learned something in this video. The ocean thing is a little bit more challenging, but it sure is fun to do. I even saved, I saved little pieces of resin and this was the inside. This is why I love these plastic beakers because if you just bend them a little bit, because they're a little bit flexible, that's why I like them over the silicone. The silicone ones, your resin will bead up into all these tiny little beads and then you have to scrape each little of them piece out but with the cups the plastic beakers they'll come out this ha I had a lot of color left in this one it'll come out almost in one piece really uh, and here's my mermaid color and so I'm saving these because I could maybe cut pieces and make mixed media with it and I was doing something with my last bowl that I made and here's some of the golden reddish uh, resin that I had left over so I saved little chunks of stuff like that for no reason at all just because because as an artist you know you're always thinking of ways you can create in weird and funky ways so thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed already please do click the bell for notifications when I post the next video and I'll see you on the next one. Love you all. Bye bye.